Yep, the wind is blowing, folks, and it is chilly. Oh my. But you know, it is spring in South Dakota, and that happens. I fully thought I'd get back to you a week ago with the results of my germination test on the uh, yeast fertilizer at the time of planting seeds. But as you know, I have a garden party coming up and I've been really, really busy, folks. <laughs> but I did record the results. So tonight I'm gonna try and get that up. But I do want to show you what's going on in the greenhouse. Did you look at that? <laughs> this is why I've been busy. Oh my goodness. These tomato plants are just gorgeous. This hanging basket is mine and it's got the tumbler tomatoes in it. And I had put it outside and I didn't get it in right away today. So it got a little wind blown. But these that were here in the greenhouse are looking fine. <laughs> Yeah, and the peppers look great. So I've been working on signage and labeling and pruning and fertilizing and watering and up potting. It's been a thing. Anyway, let's get to the uh, results of the germination test. I think you might be surprised. Let's go. Good morning, this is Adrienne with Hamilton Homestead. It is Thursday, May 8th, and look what I woke up to. <laughs> look at that guy right there. So these are the seeds I started on May 4th, so four days ago, and I just put them in a seed starting mix and did not apply the yeast fertilizer. And this is the tray that I did apply yeast fertilizer to. With yeast fertilizer, without yeast fertilizer. Okay, now let's go check the seeds. Well, I only did the pie pumpkins, but um, I did a direct in-ground planting. So, nothing yet. I would say the resounding winner for actual germination is the seeds with no yeast fertilizer. But I'm not going to post this yet. I want to give these a couple days and just take a look at, um, at the vigor on these seed starts in a couple days and see if I get some germination outside. But in four days we have a resounding winner for the germination and that would be the cucumber, pumpkin, and zucchini seeds that I started on May 4th with no yeast fertilizer are the winner. Okay, so this larger tray, this end is the pie pumpkins and cucumbers. Nothing has germinated. The center section is the yellow and the green zucchinis. Well, about a third of those have germinated. And over here, a few more zucchinis and another tray of cucumbers. Uh, none of the cucumbers or pie pumpkins have germinated yet. And this is the tray that I applied the yeast fertilizer to at the time of putting the seeds in the soil. And this is the tray of one of each. Look at that little guy down there getting a drink. So in here I have the Suyong cucumber the Supremo Cucumber, 100% germination. The yellow zucchini, 100% germination. And then we have the green zucchini and the sugar pie pumpkins, 100% germination. And look at these plants. I mean, clear winner. And the ones I did direct seed in the ground, I really did expect to see a little something there, but nothing. Well, I won't say nothing, because since I got up this morning, this little one is starting to 
poppy's head out of the soil. I wanted to explore, should I use yeast fertilizer when planting seeds? While my little experiment had its variables, a few things stood out. The biggest surprise? How slow the direct sown pumpkin seeds were compared to the ones in my germination station. This also confirmed for me that seeds have what they need to get started, so I'll keep holding off on yeast fertilizer until my seedlings are a few weeks old. Thank you for joining me today. May you be blessed, stay grateful, and continue building a life you love.